Every year, Cumberland Valley holds one of the biggest mini dance marathons to help raise money for kids with pediatric cancer. With more and more money being raised every year, the sky's the limit for what this incredible student body can accomplish. All of the money raised throughout the course of the year goes to benefit the Four Diamonds Foundation. This foundation is dedicated to helping families affected by pediatric cancer. Cumberland Valley's Mini Dance Marathon is a part of Penn State's larger Dance Marathon, which is held every February. There are many different events that are held throughout the course of the year to help reach that large total we see in March. On the night of the event, students from Cumberland Valley gather together for a total of 12 hours to celebrate life and those who have conquered cancer. This is Cumberland Valley Minithon. For THON committee members, registration starts early, in May to be exact. This is when the overalls and the chairs for each committee are selected as well. Each committee has their own specified duties and responsibilities. Hi, my name is Peter Kramer and I'm Thomas Delin, and we're co-chairs of the marketing committee. The main purpose of our committee is to solicit local businesses gain new partners, and create new sponsorships in order to gain money for the kids. My name is Anna and I'm the Public Relations Chair. And what we do is we're in charge of advertising and spreading awareness of not just our mini thon but also various events throughout the year, like our FT5K or our tailgate. And what a lot of people don't know is we also are in charge of media relations. So we communicate a lot with radio stations and news stations and newspapers just to spread thon to not just our school, but also the district. Hi, I'm Lindsay Schwanger, and I'm the Family Relations Chair. Um, our main job is to communicate and make sure the families feel welcomed at all of our events. We're also in charge of thanking all of our donors and keeping track of them. And we basically just communicate throughout the entire year with all the families, and we get really close to them, which is really cool. Hi, my name is Jenna Alioth, and I am the Registration Chair for THON this year, and I help to organize all of the committee member registration forms and all of the dancer registration forms and I also help with organizing the adult help. Hi, I'm Gabby Thomas and I'm the special events chair for THON this year. As the special events chair, I'm in charge of all the special events that THON does such as the summer concert, the tailgate, the FT5K, THON Factor, and the man pageant. Hi, I'm Rachel Pacheco and I'm the finance chair this year. Finance is in charge of counting all the money that comes through. We create the budgets for all the committees and keeping the total a secret from everyone else. Hi, I'm Shaina. And I'm Carly. We're the facilities co-chairs. Our duties in this committee are working behind the scenes on a lot of the events. We're in charge of making sure that all of the activities have the equipment that they need on time. We lift things up and put them down, basically. I'm Isabella Piana. And I'm Austin Wetzel, and we're the 2014 food chairs. Some of our responsibilities include asking businesses to donate food for the night of and our other events throughout the year. We serve breakfast and dinner to all of our dancers on the night of Thon, and that is 1,400 dancers. Our committee members help us out a lot in all of our events throughout the year. Go food! <laughs> Over the past few months, we've been really busy preparing for Mini Thon. Um, there's a lot of things that you guys don't realize that we do. We're here late after school, lots of days, um, running meetings and preparing um, things. We do emails uh, to teachers and emails to companies, ask them to donate. We have, um, I don't know, we're in charge of uh, running committee member meetings, we're in charge of um, getting all the forms ready for you guys, we're in charge of ordering t-shirts, designing the t-shirts, like approving all of the logos for that kind of stuff. We, um, 
we stay after school deciding what activities that should be involved in THON, making the schedule, making sure that the times work, we talk to the janitors and make sure that administration is okay with it and that we have the right people in the right places. My name is Ethan Ray, I'm an overall this year, I'm in charge of facilities, marketing and tech. Uh, there's actually a lot of things that we do throughout the year that a lot of people don't know. It's not just THON, it's a lot of events leading up to THON like FT5K and Man Pageant and our uh, tailgate. Um, we put a lot of effort into that, we stay after school, there's just a ton of committee meetings. All of our volunteers, they're really committed, they have to go to meetings, they have to can, they have to go to those events, they have to work those events, and they have to make sure that every one of those events is, you know, having a good time. Hi, I'm Katie Moronic, and I'm an overall, and I'm in charge of food, uh, special events, family relations, and public relations. Um, in addition to overseeing those committees, there's a lot of things that um, an overall is expected to do. We're after school at least like three days a week, um, sometimes as late as 8, 8 o'clock. Um, we also have a lot of pre-events to THON, such as THON Factor, Man Pageant, FT5K, which we all oversee. And um, I mean, we're here late. Uh, we're up early a lot for a lot of our events and for canning, which we do um, at least once a month. And uh, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. Before the school year even starts, the committee's already hard at work to earn money. All of the proceeds from this concert went directly to the Four Diamonds Foundation and the Thon Total. A local baseball team, the Harrisburg Senators, sponsored CV Minithon to come out and spend a night with some of the Four Diamonds families. Okay, so today is our FT5K, and we mapped out a 5K course, and everyone is coming to run a 5K for the kids with cancer. And behind us is the course that Anna made. Yeah. 
Uh, it was a good day to come out here. I uh, came out to run the course, uh, give some money to charity, help out the Four Diamonds Fund, and uh, support uh, Miss Griebel over here as my wife's college roommate. So, you came out today and you ran the FT 5K. How are you feeling? Um, did you like the race and everything like that? Yeah, I feel really good. I really love running and like everything for Thon. It just make, it made me happy. It was like, <laughs> I was happy the whole time I was running it and just like knowing it was for a good cause. And the course was really good. It was fun, other than the hills. <laughs> they were kind of rough. But yeah, it was a good course. Only a hundred more days until our entire school's effort throughout the year start benefiting the kids. It's a hundred days till thawing.
right now we're taking pictures of all 10 Man Pageant contestants to be in the first ever Man Pageant calendar. Us 10 guys, we can, uh, everyone's gonna be laughing the whole time, so I'm excited. Alright, I got involved in CBE's Man Pageant this year because it is rewarding to me raising money for kids with cancer. Um, I feel very great doing so. We are fighting for a cure, and it is for the kids. I'm doing this Man Pageant because it's a great way for me to make my own contribution to the Four Diamonds Foundation. Uh, not only is it a great way to contribute, but it makes it a lot more fun and enjoyable. Oh, I got the door! Oh.
This year, one of the local elementary schools in the district, Green Ridge, got a chance to hold their very own mini-thon as well. All right, well, I have some questions for you guys. All right, they're just kind of random. We just wanted to ask you guys. So, how much money would you say is like a lot of money? Like, I would say like infinity. Infinity. Actually, what, what no, a million dollars. A million dollars? Google Plex. Google Plex. That's, I've never heard that. It would that. be probably as big as this whole school. <laughs> Why did you do what you did today, like thawing and everything and dancing? Because mm -hmm. yeah, it was cancer. Fun. To help cancer. There you go. To help help cancer or help cure cancer? Cure <laughs> Regardless of someone's age, cancer is a word no one wants to hear. Seven years ago, my grandfather was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and lung cancer. Over the past few years, I watched the disease attack his body and his mind, but never his fighting spirit. This spiritual resilience is something I find truly inspiring among many of the cancer patients I have come in contact with, including Four Diamond's children. The fact that they can have a smile on their face even while undergoing treatments and enduring pain that I can't even imagine leaves me in complete awe and respect. These children possess a unique quality of strength and courage that goes unmatched by others. I have seen firsthand the effects cancer has on a person and no child, no family, should ever have to go through the pain of fighting this disease. This past November, my grandfather lost his battle with cancer and he is the reason why I fall. I hope that one day a mother won't have to sit by her child's hospital bed and a granddaughter won't have to sit by her grandfather's hospital bed, only able to pray for a cure. Thawne gives us all an opportunity to come together and be a small part of the, that miracle that will one day provide us with a cure. I thawne because of the blessed life I have. I have fortunately had a very normal childhood in comparison to the twisted backwards life that a child affected by pediatric cancer must endure. I feel guilty when I hear about another child that has just begun their treatment or has just lost their battle because what they have to deal with daily makes my complaints look so petty. I thawne to give every child the carefree childhood they deserve. Childhood is supposed to be one of the greatest times of your life. As a kid, you are supposed to be happy, healthy, and completely carefree. Pediatric cancer robs children of that, and it isn't fair. Every day, some of the most incredible, intelligent, and inspirational kids continue to battle this disease instead of going to school, seeing their friends and family, and just being in the comfort of their own home. Thawne is more than just a fundraising event. Thawne is an amazing energy that brings people of all different cliques and backgrounds together to celebrate life and to change the world. I thawne because I believe kids should be on playgrounds, not in hospital beds. I thawne for every past, present, and future kid that is diagnosed with pediatric cancer. I thawne because every penny raised puts the world closer to a cure. And I thawne for the day when thawne will not exist, because one day it will not exist, and that will be the best thought of all. <laughs>